What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing guys? Let's get into the news. First story of the day is about the LG G7 and the LG V40. LG G7 is the successor to the LG G6 and it has been pushed back a little bit. Uh, their CEO wanted to you know, redesign the complete phone of it and then like not get into this yearly grind of releasing a flagship phone every year. Well, it looks like the LG G7 will come out in May, at least in Korea anyway, and it'll be priced at $800. Now, LG G7, we have spoken about this phone. It'll have like a notch like the iPhone has, Snapdragon 845, four or six gigabytes of RAM, blah, blah, blah. You know, the basic flagship specs for 2018. But the big takeaway from this, like I said, is May of 2018 it'll be released and then with a price tag of around $800. Now the other part to this is the LG V40, which would be the successor to the V30. Now the V40, I don't have a price or spec or anything going on with it, but it looks like the release date for it will be November of 2018. Previous In previous years, the V series was coming out in September. This looks like it's getting pushed back about two months. Same thing with the LG G6 or 7, whatever you want to call it, uh, version. That got pushed back a few months as well. So you're looking at, they're just realigning their release dates and then again next year's phones even though because these are going to be you know slightly modified phones probably won't be you know big redesigns they'll just be maybe some spec bumps and the last story of the day of course is about the galaxy s9 and s9 plus t-mobile customers i'm getting text messages on uh instagram and facebook and everything like crazy you guys are receiving your phones congratulations lucky for you guys i get my phone tomorrow um, I ordered mine through Samsung. Uh, I know some of the other people, like I know a person or two got it with Verizon already. International people already have it. it, it so it's kind of a mixed bag in that regard. But um, looks like Sprint, I, I, it's probably those, most of those arriving Wednesday as well. Same thing with Verizon. AT&T again, mostly tomorrow. So it looks like today is mostly, and I say mostly, not everybody, mostly T-Mobile. And then tomorrow, like I said, it'll be everybody else. Samsung, Verizon. Uh, Sprint and AT&T uh, but yeah and so one of the other thing I wanted to tell you is so since the people that got T-Mobile if you're either thinking about getting the T-Mobile version or even if you have it um, Charlie one of my good uh, followers a young man he does a lot of call-in when I do my call-in show uh, very intelligent young boy anyways he sent me some screenshots of what the uh, Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus pre-installed apps are and also the available storage. So let's take a look at those. Now here's a look at the app launcher. You can see really not that many pre-installed apps. I'll break it down a little bit further. When you go into the T-Mobile uh, folder, you're gonna get three apps. You get the device unlock, you get the T-Mobile app, and then visual voicemail. Very nice to see that it's a very small amount of apps. And then also when you look at the Samsung apps, um, just the basic Samsung apps. You get the Galaxy apps, internet, browser, uh, My Files, which is a, uh, a file manager, Samsung Gear, which is for gear accessories like watches and things like that, Samsung Health, Samsung Notes to take notes on, Samsung Plus, which is a uh, optimization app, Smart Things, which is their, um, their smart home app, and then the secure folder to keep folders secure you know, and safe. As for available storage, you're looking at the, of course, the 64 gigabytes of storage. So right off the bat, you have an available amount of 49.5 gigabytes of storage for the phone. So there you guys go. That is the available amounts of storage and apps installed on the T-Mobile version of the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. If you get the at and the Verizon, or uh, <clears throat> the other, whatever other phones, send me screenshots. I'd love to share that. Also the available storage amounts as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't see my video from earlier today, definitely watch it. It's actually a really cool um, pre-order bundle that is available in Saudi Arabia. So thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace.